Alright, so in the previous lesson, we learned how to add more users. And in this lesson, we're going to be learning just the basics of SEO, SEO essentials, right? And so this is just a very basic, very basic intro to SEO, uh, primarily just for uh, beginning level bloggers. You know, it's not, not, not the crazy, just something very basic, right? And so the first thing we're going to be talking about is what exactly is SEO? Uh, why do we need it? And potentially, how could it benefit us? Uh, we're going to be looking at long tail keywords uh, and then the best practices or just a couple of the practices of SEO. Obviously, there's you could go into an entire book of it, uh, but we'll just look at the very basics. Uh, plugins to help with SEO are going to be the last thing that we're going to be talking about. So first off, what exactly is SEO? Very briefly, uh, well, SEO is search engine optimization and it's how we improve our search engine rankings. And search engines are like, Yahoo or Google being things like that um, and it's so it's what allows Google to index our website or what any search engine uh, to index our website and so there's different algorithms for the different search engines uh, primarily most people look at Google just because it has the highest volume of, of traffic but pretty much what search engine optimization allows us to do is different practices different tricks different tips um, that are all very much so legal that allow you to kind of um, tell Google exactly what your your website is about or exactly what your article is about if you're writing a blog um, so that users can find your website easier and well one of the reasons why it's so important is that well for example the number one spot on Google gets 33 percent of all the search traffic so for example if you're searching for um, coupons for example and let's say that gets searched up um, a million times. Well, 33 or 330,000 of those views are going to, or 330,000 of those hits are going to go to the very first spot on Google, right? So it can be extremely, extremely powerful. You can get a lot of traffic on this if you are the number one spot. And even then, even if you're on the first page, that's still going to be wonderful. And that's kind of what we're going to shoot for, right? And so the next thing that we're going to be talking about, yeah, that was just a very basic intro to exactly what SEO is, why it's important, and how it can help us. Pretty much in some, it can give us a lot of traffic, right? So the next thing that we're going to be looking at is how can we potentially take advantage of this or, um, you know, utilize this, uh, what, what we know about it. And so kind of the core of SEO for, for us, what we're going to be looking at simply because, you know, we are all going to be starting new websites. We're all going to be just starting off right uh, there's a lot that goes into SEO just based on you know for example your social media profiles the the domain age um, just kind of the general authority of your website the amount of sharing it has the authority that you have as an author but a lot of that we can't necessarily alter right because that's something that will come over time that's something that over time we'll be able to improve just like um, you know a big part of SEO is getting backlinks right backlinks allow people to trust you allow people to understand that you know you're not going to link to something unless it's actually something good right so this something that has more backlinks or more links linking to it is going to be better right but in, in for us that's not really that uh, I guess feasible because that's something that's going to happen over time or through uh, marketing on the side what we're looking for is just mainly on our blog how can we improve SEO simply just on our blog and that's going to be long tail keywords and pretty much what this is it's uh, I think this diagram explains it pretty well is long tail keywords you can imagine a short tail keyword is something like camera right very short straight to the point exactly what somebody may be looking for um, Next being digital camera is going to be a little bit longer. Sony digital camera, Sony Cybershot digital camera. You get the picture. It's something that's much longer. And so why is this important and what does this graph even show? Well, what we can see from this graph is that camera um, is a short tail keyword and it gets a lot of hits. But at the same time, a lot of people do look at it. And a lot of people do search that word up, but it has a lot of competition. Right, so as we go down the line and we get a longer tail keyword, we're going to get less search volume, but there's also going to be a lot less competition. So, how is that beneficial for us? Well, remember, I said that the number one spot on Google uh, allows you to get 33% of the traffic, right? So, if we are 
even if we're at the tail end of here, the Sony digital camera, 7.1 megapixel with three times optical zoom, if we are the number one spot on that long tail keyword, we still get a lot of traffic. So what we're trying to target are these long tail keywords, something that can provide us, you know, maybe not a huge amount of search volume that maybe cameras can have, but these long tail keywords like this um, can allow us to outcompete the other websites that are already out there, right? If we were a huge website like Yahoo or uh, you know Answers.com or any like hub pages or something like that, yeah, camera would be a lot more feasible for us to compete with and for us to compete for. But for us, we're going to be looking for these long tail keywords. So we're going to want to try to target um, our blog or our posts to really focus around these certain long tail keywords so we can just choose one for our blog post and try to kind of feature it or trying to um, showcase our blog and manipulate our blog around that term right so the first step is always in SEO for us is going to be choosing that long tail keyword and that's just going to be using different types of tools uh, there's many different tools out there simply just in the Google keyword planner tools this is the first place to start just because it's free and it's also offered by Google so it, you know it's your your best choice in terms of search engines right it allows us to kind of search for these keywords and I'm not going to explain in detail of how to actually find these keywords or which ones to select I'll probably make a future video on that but pretty much in short we're, we're trying to go after these long tail keywords because less search volume but a lot less competition so allow us to outcompete the other websites that are currently ranking for that long tail keyword right especially for newer bloggers even if you're more of a seasoned blogger it's still long tail keywords are, are the way to go simply because less competition right so how do we actually um, I guess you can say how do we actually uh, compete for them or rank for those and these are going to be just with the SEO best practice and these are just the best practices um, for your actual blog and these are very very simple very uh, basic understanding of it and so uh, pretty much you're just targeting the keyword so the on-page SEO on your actual blog post that you're writing how can we target for that um, and it's just trying to you can imagine if, if you have your keyword for example in the previous one uh, let's just take um, Sony digital camera 7.1 megapixel right if that was our target keyword if that shows up a lot more often right you can imagine that Google is gonna say well yeah then the article is probably about that right and so you can imagine that the higher frequency of the keyword is obviously going to be better, right? And you, you don't want to overuse it so that it just doesn't make sense to a user because ultimately, who is your primary audience is the user. You want to make sure it, it's readable for them as well. But in certain places that it does make sense, that's when you should try to, uh, try to increase the frequency as much as possible. For example, in your heading, right? Um, for example, your actual title, I think I meant by title for the heading, uh, in your post URL. So for example, for us, wpforall.com slash, and whatever the, the additional part is, maybe you can do wpforall.com slash Sony digital camera 7.1 megapixel review, if that was our target keyword, right? So it's in our post URL, it's in our heading, um, and so like I mentioned, large keyword density in your meta description, so that's going to be down below, kind of describing. When you search on Google, you'll see a little paragraph or a couple sentences right below the title. That's your meta description. That's what people are going to be able to read. So if you have a larger keyword density uh, within the meta, key, meta description, that's going to obviously be a plus. Uh, and then in your H1, H2 heading tags, uh, bold and italic, right? So people kind of dispute about that part of the bold and italic. But yeah, I think that it can't, it can't hurt ultimately. If you have something that's bolded, it's not only going to be better for the user, uh, it's also going to be show that that's kind of what the most important aspect of it, right? So those are kind of the SEO best practices. And so how can we actually, what are the tools that we can use to improve SEO? And these are just two. I mean, there's, there's literally hundreds of them that you can use. These are just ones that we use. Um, and the first being um, the free plugin that I mentioned in the plugins video, the WordPress SEO uh, plugin that's made by Yoast. Uh, Yoast.com, I believe it is, and uh, that will just allow us. And I'll actually show you how to use that one because I think that one's the most important. Um, actually, show you how to. It kind of just gives you ratings on how good your on-page SEO may be, how where you can improve it, things like that. So it's kind of just like 
um, you know, that tap on the shoulder that you may need to, okay, remember that you need to do this, uh, things like that, right? And hit tail just allows you to uh, find those long tail keywords that are the best for you, right? It uses your previous traffic, what you've ranked for in the past, kind of has a bunch of different algorithms that it used to actually give you what should you target, what type of long tail keyword should you target to give you the most optimal success. All right, so now I'm actually gonna show you how to utilize this WordPress SEO plugin, right? And there's a bunch of free plugins on the WordPress directory. If you find one that you like better, feel free to use that one as well. But for me, what I use is this WordPress SEO by Yoast. Uh, it, it actually is, is quite good and it's used by a lot of different people, right? And it's updated uh, very often as well. And so what you're going to do, same thing as before. I showed you how to install plugins before, but I just want to show you what to search up. Is this WordPress SEO, and it's it's called literally WordPress SEO by Yoast, right? So you should be able to find it. Uh, you should also be able to find it on the uh, WordPress directory as well if you want to upload that um, directly. That's fine too. Okay, so what we have is once we install, we activate it. Uh, activated the the plugin what we're gonna do is we're just gonna see it throughout all the posts right and so I made just this sample post this is actually from the main website wpferral.com uh, that I, I wrote I just wanted to kind of show you how to utilize this um, SEO plugin right so as you can see right now the SEO is green and it's considered good um, and so pretty much what it is is it uh, it allows you to target some type of focus keyword, right? And so you're gonna target for this focus keyword. So for example, I cho chose images for your website. And I'm not gonna say that that's the best focus keyword to choose from. Um, it's probably still very competitive and it has a lot of, uh, you probably wanna um, not have certain terms like your, you, uh, my, things like that. It's it's not something that uh, people necessarily uh, will, will type and it just uh, decreases your chances of being found uh, but yeah that's besides the point so what we're going to do is type in our our focus keyword and we can see here it's kind of just going to go down the line of uh, checking it off right do you have the article in your heading do you have it in your page title your page url how many times do you have it within the body of your content and do you have it in your meta description obviously some of these things uh, they can only be one right like the page title page URL, things like that right now it says no uh, but it actually does have it um, in my URL I just haven't published it right so it, it won't tell me that it's there because it doesn't actually know that that's the it doesn't um, say that that's the actual URL yet right because I haven't published it um, so yeah, that's kind of the basics of what you can do and you can change the meta description as well. You can actually add Google authorship as well um, through some of the, the the plugin settings. There's a bunch of different plugin settings that you can change, um, permalinks, uh, the site maps, and also the social sharing options. So there's a lot of different things that I can do. I don't want to go into too much detail of exactly what it is, uh, but one of the other things that I want to uh, mention is this page analysis. And so what this kind of does is it, goes if you see the general option right what what good really does this do you know it's not that much you know show, counting up the number of uh, times the the keyword shows up in your content or your title things like that that doesn't tell you all that much um, right it is important though if you, you forget it's kind of like that tap on the shoulder uh, here's another thing though it's kind of interesting is you know this page analysis right what the page analysis does it kind of has these different options of you know uh, green yellow orange or red how bad are certain things how important are these things that you need to change um, and so for example that it kind of rank it uh, in order of importance of things that you should change or just think about and so for example this one is the keyword for this page contains one or more stop words consider re removing them and that's what I mentioned before stop words like um, you know your or for things like that I think those are not necessarily very good words to include in the keyword it should be more specific right so that's something that we could change and that's something that we can improve our on-page SEO if we wanted to do that um, like like this they mentioned that the keyword or phrase does not appear in the URL that's because I haven't published yet um, and the page contains uh, the title contains 71 characters you should probably try to make it uh, less so all these are very important things that we probably could improve upon, things that 
uh, we can be made better. And if there's more things that are wrong, we can we will be able to see them right there. So it's, it's it's interesting to kind of see you know what um, things that can be improved on, things that can be made better. This is the social sharing. So um, you know certain things. If you want a specific description, that's more I guess for especially for Facebook and Google Plus. These are more things that are. Um, I guess more user friendly simply because I uh, you know the f Facebook and Google Plus are going to be read by actual users. So you want it kind of more simple, more not, um, I guess, as optimized for a computer, but more for a person, I guess you can say. And so they have a, a bunch of different options that you can change. So I think that, you know, the plugin itself is, is very powerful it ha is very robust it has a lot of different options this, i haven't gone actually in all the options that it has um in this back end right here i don't want to talk about it in this video it's too much but yeah i mean the options that it has uh and the things that it can tell you just to kind of improve you know very basic things on on page seo you know is is important it's important to see that in conjunction with kind of finding this focus keyword or finding this long tail keyword that you want to target through through hit tail or any type of service that you want to use you know it's it's important to have right so yeah I, I just wanted to kind of introduce you a little bit to SEO there's obviously a lot more to learn a lot more to talk about but that's just kind of the very basics of in terms of what we may be most interested in as um, new bloggers so that's all for this lesson on SEO and then the next lesson we're going to be looking at um, is actually social media integration what kind of plugins or what type of resources can we use to kind of integrate more with social media and we're also going to be looking at RSS feeds how to kind of set that up or um, simply how to use them